what is going on YouTube? We got the Celica in the back. Okay, we're gonna be plasti dipping these rims right here, right there. Now they're already off the car just because they're low profile, um, summertime only, so I got the winter tires on right now. It's gonna be a lot easier to plasti dip your rims uh, when they're off the car. I got the plasti dip right here, guys. Okay, so we got the matte black plasti dip. Uh, and then we're gonna be adding a gloss finish and I got the gloss right here I also happen to pick up it'd be a lot easier with the gun Okay, just because I don't want to be holding down the spray bottle the whole time. Um, I'd rather have three or four fingers It's more of like a fluent motion, but yeah guys sit back relax grab that popcorn We're gonna be uh, plastic dipping putting a nice gloss finish, but we got a lot of work to do as you guys can see right here my rims are destroyed so we're gonna have to clean them all up first that's the main step here i'm gonna sand down the corners because my car loves the curb rash um, i've had these for a long time so we're gonna sand them down um, polish them clean them plasti dip them put the gloss finish and then in a couple weeks and i put them back on the car um, i will show you guys maybe some pictures or something Throw some brake fluid on that stuff. Just some stuff to clean, degrease it all up. All right, let these sit for a little bit. So we're gonna let these soak a little bit, soak up all that grease, soak up all those stains. Um, I was using some greaser here. Just let that soak for about five, 10 minutes. We're gonna wash them down just with water. Then we're gonna use some soapy water, clean up all the grooves, all the nicks. This is the most important step, guys. Um, if you want your dip to turn out good, it needs to be clean. There can all be anything on those rims. But what I was saying was after we're gonna clean all these bad boys up, then we're gonna sand down just like the edging. So as you can see, we got some curb rash here, right? So we're just gonna sand it lightly, make sure it's even and straight, and then we're gonna apply the the uh, so I've dip. been sanding away guys um, for the past half an hour and this is what there is not much has come off I'm just gonna give up um, we have some bad ones here that I'm just not gonna get off now the whole point of sanding is just to get any like bumps that are higher or lower just even flat you want an even flat surface um like this one i really i really digged in deep as you can see um honestly guys it's going to be black if it was like a silver or any light color it would make such a difference but because we're doing matte black with a gloss finish on top it's not going to be that bad you just want to sand them down as much as you can i've gotten a lot of stuff off already as you can see so i'm just going to stop here um and we'll we'll start uh i gotta wash these down again to get all that sand dust off and then we'll we'll see what happens clean um i tape this area up here because i don't want to get that dipped uh, i gotta make sure you do that there so i got all the wheels here um looks pretty good so far but i'm gonna have to let these dry guys that's the most important part these have to be completely dry like I can't strain that enough, like it completely dry. Um, even when I was putting the tape on, I could see some water falling off in places. So I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour. I'm just gonna head to the gym now. When I get back from the gym, I'll probably give them a nice wash again with um, microfiber towel, whatever it's called. And then we're gonna apply some um, tire shine. So the dip easily comes off. You got to make sure that you do dip the tires as well. It'll peel off, but you just want a, a nice adhesive for it to come off. So we're going to tire shine that, clean the rims a little bit more with a chamois, and then uh, start doing the dip. I'll see you guys in a bit. Look at it, guys. It came out, it, it, it 
I think something's wrong with this bottle. Look how blotchy it is there. And nowhere else. I gotta take some time and Google something because I, I cannot be screwing up on this. But as you guys can see, guys, like it is barely there. I don't want to go too much. It's only 50% transparency first coat, but look how blotchy it is there. There's so much. I don't know. I don't know. I need to Google this. Um, I tried putting this in hot water, but even with the thing, I took it off. It It's not spraying properly. Yeah, I don't know. It's coming out very blotchy. I'll give you guys an update, guys. It's been half an hour. I'm on my second coat. It's looking a lot better. There are some splotches, but I, I literally can't do anything about it. I've already started. Um, this is the first wheel. Second wheel is just over here. It's also on the second coat done of black. Now these two, okay, I'll explain right now. I had to scratch these. I've been trying to remove, okay? I make mistakes, okay? Screwed these ones up because of one main reason. If there's anything to take away from this, guys, I didn't shake it for like five minutes. I shook it for two minutes because that's what it says. Shake it until you hear the ball. I heard the ball, I was done shaking. Second thing, it's very cold here in Vancouver. So those cans need to be so hot for there not to be splotches or any blotch, whatever it's called, okay? I screwed up on those. So I'm probably only gonna do two of these good wheels um, today. I'm gonna have to YouTube how to remove Plasti Dip and then restart on that one. So, guys, it just proves to show like, I thought I knew everything, I don't. Um, I didn't think of putting it in hot water. So when you guys do it, uh, make sure those cans are in hot water for at least four to six minutes. Um, there's still a little bit of blotches, but I, I can't do anything about it, so. All right, guys, we're now on the sev uh, sixth coat. Just finished the sixth coat. We are looking pretty freaking good, guys. There's a little bit of spotting, but I can't do anything about it. This rim is looking freaking sexy, guys. Look at that. So I'm gonna do about, I don't know, one or two coats. They're saying that each can should be one rim. So I'm gonna probably do one or two more coats here, one or two more coats there. I already screwed up on those, which I will fix tomorrow. And uh, then I'm gonna add the gloss, probably about two to three coats of gloss, two to three coats of gloss. This is gonna look good. And by the way, guys, just realized the lug nuts I have are silver. So it's gonna contrast real nice here. So we're on to the gloss, guys. Um, this is one coat with gloss. You can't really tell, even in person, me looking at it. Um, not bad. I say about, if you're gonna be doing it, I'd say about three to four coats. Um, that one's got two coats. This one only has one. Um, you don't even see that much of a difference. So we're gonna keep doing it until we start seeing some shine. I didn't do the best job on this, guys. This was my first time dipping this stuff, but it's probably gonna be the first time for you guys doing the doing the dipping as well. You're just gonna get better as, I guess, you dip more things. So let's see what this one turns out to be like. Let it set, guys, for about 10, 15 minutes, then repeat the process. Guys, the gloss is done. Looks pretty glossy to me. Not as glossy as I thought, but you can start seeing the reflection. It's still kind of matte. I must say it's probably like a five out of 10 for gloss. The other one's over here, and that's how you dip it, guys. So the only thing I need to do is take this middle piece off once it dries. You're just gonna rip the tape off. I'm gonna do that one there. I'm gonna do the um, holes there. And also guys, so if you've done the outside, very important, if you've done the outside, this will start peeling, okay? If it's not peeled, just scratch away at it a little bit. It'll start peeling. Just lightly grab it like this. I'm not gonna do it yet, just cause I just did the last coat. And then take that off just like that. And you can go all the way around. So there you go guys. Final product guys. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God. Oh my God. I took that off there. Okay. I took that one off. And that's it right there. Scruff marks are black. It's all painted black so you can barely, hold on, let me just focus there. You can't even see it. When I was riding before with the silver, you could definitely see it. But now like, 
that's blended in. Blended in. I just gotta take the outside off and that's it. All right guys, it's cold. Um, that's him, that's it. Um, as you can see, it's definitely freezing now. Um, I'm just gonna wrap up the video right here, guys. I'm not a car guy. I know nothing really to do with anything with these materials, to do with cars, anything. Just a regular Joe. If I could do it, you guys could easily do this. Um, this cost me maybe a hundred bucks. Um, you can look online for people to dip your rims yourself. It costs about three, four hundred dollars for that. If a shitty place maybe for two, two fifty. But hundred bucks guys, materials, it's fun. It was a nice little project I did. I learned a new trade. Um, I could definitely do this again. If this ever um, comes off, maybe in a couple of years, I'll definitely dip it myself again. And um, it doesn't take much guys. It maybe took the two rims. I would have done all four rims, like one, two, three, four, wait two minutes, one, two, three, four. I didn't have to wait as long if I did do the four rims, but because I only did two, I did have to wait a little bit more in between each rim. Um, but you could do all four easily um, without sanding if you're just dipping it, honestly, maybe like two, three hours. That's it. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.